Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. In this Tips and Tricks episode, we're going to go over how to launch a boat from a trailer by yourself. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. Okay, so launching a boat from a trailer by yourself can be an intimidating task the first time, maybe the first couple of times you go to do it until you get your feet underneath you, your wits about you, and it becomes second nature. So what I'm gonna do is try and put you at ease and simplify the process. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to do a little bit of prep work. First and foremost is you're gonna to need to make sure that plug is in your boat. Put that plug in, cinch it down, and then you can move forward. If you've got interior plugs that keep you from walking around on a wet deck, you can also put them in before you even get started. The next thing in preparation that we're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your dock lines and put them on your boat somewhere. Tie them on your bow and somewhere on your stern or a spring line. That way, once you get around and you get to the dock, you don't have to worry about getting all flustered and hurrying up and tying your lines there. They're already connected to your boat. You loop them around a cleat at the dock and you're good to go. Okay, so you pull up to the boat ramp with your boat on your trailer. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna release the tie downs in the back. I happen to use ratchet straps. You can use whatever you can. Make sure you release them. They should hold your boat securely to the trailer. The next thing you'll wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to engage the battery and you will lift your outboard motor to the highest point that it can. And if you have a motor brace or a piece of wood that keeps your motor from bouncing as it travels down the road, that is when you will lift the brace or remove uh, whatever it is that you have that supports your motor. So now we've unhooked the boat from the trailer. We're almost ready. Probably want to take your keys and put them in the ignition at this point in time. Now you're going to jump in your car, you pull forward, and you carefully back down into the water. Going in reverse can be tricky for some folks. Some folks, it's a breeze. You got to remember your boat is going to turn the way that your hand turns. So if you pull your hand in reverse, if you pull your hand to the right, your boat is going to go the same way as that. If you pull your hand to the left, it's going to go that way. So just, you know, take it slow and make sure you don't overreact and kick your boat. You don't want it to do like have like a jackknifing effect as you're backing up. As you back down, you're going to want to watch how far you go. I've always made it a good practice to back the boat into the water slowly until the stern of the boat just barely floats a little bit. Not floating all the way, just barely lifts up off the ass end of the trailer. The next thing you're going to do is you'll get out, you're going to go and you're going to unhook the safety chain from your boat. And you can loop that right back on your trailer and then you will disengage the click lock of the winch on the trailer, which will effectively put your winch into free spool and you'll reverse it and you will let the boat slowly glide back into the water. Now, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna drift off, it's still kind of lodged in place on the trailer because of the runners. However, it will seem like it's floating. So you hook the strap back onto the winch on your safety chain loop, and then you hop onto your boat. The next step is to lower your engine into the water all the way till it bottoms out. Then you crank the motor, good to go. Now you'll put the boat in reverse and slowly ease back. Don't gun it, don't get nervous, just let the boat do its thing. Watch what the current's doing. It's gonna kick you one way or the other in between the docking space of the ramp. So just take it slow and back out into the current of the inlet or the intercoastal or the canal or wherever you're backing out into. And then 
you can either turn your boat all the way around and go dock it or you can back right into the docking space and you're good to go. Then you're going to tie your boat up to the dock. Then you'll walk back over to your car, pull your trailer out and around, park it, and you're done. You're ready to go fishing. And that is how you launch a boat from a trailer by yourself in a nutshell. Don't let it be overwhelming. Don't get nervous. There's no reason to. You can do this. People do it all day long. I've been doing it for many years. All right, folks, that about does it for this Tips and Tricks Thursday episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned how to launch a boat from a trailer by yourself. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us. Thank <laughs> you.